Good afternoon, YouTubers. Apparently, I'm a marked man by YouTube now. I'm on their shit list as a cyber bully for making comments, disparaging comments. I was over at Hussein's picking up one of my knives. Yeah, just an ordinary kitchen knife, but that's insanely sharp. But this video is about other stuff. I got some Timu stuff today. I got these magnetic insoles. They're supposed to massage your feet with magnetic balls on uh, acupressure points, whatever those are to Chinese medicine. Years ago, I had a set of Nike magnets, and they were like uh, almost the same stuff. Where's a fridge magnet here? Almost the same stuff as refrigerator magnets are made out of, and they, they lasted a few years and then they fell apart. So I didn't buy any more, but I'm looking through the team when I figure I'll give these things a try, and they're marked so you can cut them down. These are custom made orthotic soles. I got them at the Good Feet store. That's about 300 bucks. They mold your feet, take a mold of your feet and then make those out of cork and foam rubber. And they're pretty well beat up because I got them taped up and repaired a few times. But I'm gonna stick these in the work boots here and see how they feel. The thing about magnet, magnets in contact with your body, I think it gives you a slight, it strengthens your body's magnetic field, the internal magnetic field. I see people wear magnetic bracelets and, uh, and insoles. But if you lift weights, see how many reps you can get without the magnets. And then the next workout, put the magnets in and see the difference. Let's see what these things feel like. I got thick socks on. Yeah, I, I can't feel the bumps, so that ain't too bad. What do we got here? Oh, these are the magnetic bracelets. I see the esoteric backyard knife dude, or whatever he's calling himself now, wears some kind of magnets on his wrist. This thing's for taking in or out of link. Oh, nice, neat row of magnets. I may not have to take a link out or leave it loose. Yeah, you can tell I wear bracelets every day. Come on, hook up there, bastard. Oh, come on. I need three hands to do this job here. Okay, I think I got it. Nope. Crying out loud. Crying out loud. How's this job or work? But anyway, I got, I got nailed accused of cyberbullying, and I was talking to Hussein, he said, yeah, you don't want to make comments about communist China either, he says. And I was commenting on a lot of these political videos. Crap, I can't get that apart. Particularly the one from Pennsylvania where Orange Jesus was operating the deep fryer and any of you people that worked in fast food and operated deep fryers before they put cameras in all these restaurants used to throw all sorts of stuff in the deep fryer any kind of live insects you could catch or any uh any mice any moss 
flies was a good one, I guess. You, you, you grab them quick enough, you shake them up and toss them in the deep fryer. But as I say, that was before cameras. Now this one's closed too, so I gotta figure out how to open it. Okay, it just snaps like that. I almost got to figure out here. I got to get the, takes a degree of coordination to get the bugger on. But anyway, I dropped a comment on that video out of Pittsburgh with Orange Jesus operating the deep fryer. And I said, yeah, fat boy, but salt the fries. And if, if I was from that town, you know, the poor bastards that work in the restaurant, they lost the days of work because they shut it down for that fake photo op. Great, this is taking way too long. But anyway, I'm on YouTube shit list for that. I got a good mind to delete all my videos. Take my crap elsewhere. All right, now I'll be like Wonder Woman with the power bracelets. If I can get them locked. Sweet. I don't think I'm bother, gonna bother taking a link out. Watch what you say on YouTube, people, or you'll be on the shit list. No matter how funny it is. I also mentioned that if I was showing Fat Boy how to operate the deep fryer, I'd shove him head first in it. Peace out.